today we're talking about oil catch cans, why you need them, and how they work. Before we get started, make sure you click that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Uh, make sure to also click that notification bell uh, so you get notified every time I put up a new video. As for today, I wanted to go over oil catch cans. Um, it's it's very common item that a lot of people are recommended that they get for their cars, but it seems like a lot of you guys don't understand how it works or why it works or what even it is to begin with. Um, I've even had questions where people were actually sincerely asking if they need to put in extra oil in their car because now they have an oil catch can system. So, you know, the, the whole concept of oil catch cans is not too clear to a lot of people. So I'm going to get started with this video. That way it clears up everything for you on why you need it and how it works. All right. Okay. So I actually downloaded some diagrams online that you can see. Let's start with the OEM system. So how does the OEM system work? Okay. So here's your basic intake. Goes to your intake manifold. Air goes in combusts and then goes out the exhaust right like we, we know the way uh, the engine works very simply put um basically when your piston moves up and down you're going to have oil you're going to have um water vapors you're going to have fuel and it's just natural for those things to happen and get past the past piston rings and that's what they call a blow by gas okay well blow by gas does is normally it travels to, through your pcv valve comes back into your intake manifold gets sucked right back into the um to your combustion chamber and it will try to recombust again oem systems do this um one because emission purposes like we don't want to have that blow by gas dumped out to the ground you know that would just be horrible for the environment so they need to have a closed system like this where it goes in, reburns, goes in, reburns, goes in, reburns, goes in, reburns, right? So every time there is some type of blow by happening, it's going to do its best to reburn everything. Um, the PCV valve is there to make sure that all this system goes and circulates instead of just sitting there and creating extra pressure that's going to blow out the seals of the engine. So that's that's the whole gist of how that works. It's a great system if you think about it. Like I said, for emissions purpose, you're, you're not dumping anything out in the open. Everything is getting burnt and it's efficient to a sense. But why do we need to install catch cans then if everything is being burnt and being efficient, right? The problem in lies with the blow by gas itself. The blow by gas, like I said before, is consisted of like water vapors, uh, unburnt gas, and oil. Basically, when that gets put back into the combustion chamber, it can degrade the octane level of your fuel system. So if you are tuning for a 93 octane tune, and if you have too much blow by that goes through, that blow by can essentially cause knocking to happen within your engine. That you do not want. Knocking is what destroys engines. So from from factory, you know, you don't have to really worry about it because factory really puts that into consideration. And there, are, there are, they're not pushed to the maximum um, when it comes to the tuning portion of the OEM system. But if you are out there tuning for more power, you definitely need to install catch cans to make sure you mitigate that knocking that um, these by blow by gases can cause. Uh, one other thing. These blow by gases, again, consisting of oil and unburnt fuel and water, actually can deposit oil in your intake manifold, sometimes even in your intake pipe, especially on turbo cars. You'll see this very often because the turbo pressure can actually push the blow by gas out through the ventilation port, where the ventilation port is actually meant to suck in fresh air. But yeah, with increased crankcase pressure with the turbocharged vehicles, you may sometimes see oil sitting on your intake pipe as well um and the last the last thing i do want to mention is all these newer cars with direct injection engines all that blow by gas i mean if you mix oil you know dirty air and fuel you're gonna get 
lot of gunk. And that sticky gunk gets stuck on top of your valves. And if you have a direct injection engine, there's no fuel injector spraying at the top of your intake valves, meaning you're going to get a lot of carbon deposits on top of your intake valve, which can cause lower performance, um, lower MPGs, and like misfire during idle, and a lot of things like that, which could cause headaches in the future. Um, so catch can is definitely needed in that sense. So let me show you a diagram of a catch can system. Let me get that OEM system out of the way. All right, so same exact system, right? But this time from the PCV valve, it goes to the catch can inlet and this catch can will catch all that um, blow by gas. So that oil, water, um, and unburned gasoline will get collected here and only the fresh air will go back into your intake manifold. Same thing on this side. Like I said, on a turbocharged vehicle, a lot of times you get enough crankcase pressure that instead of going through the PCV valve, oil can actually sneak through here and land in your intake pipe. So you're going to also put one here to catch that excess oil gunk that comes out. And then you're going to introduce fresh air again. When you have fresh air in here, one, you're going to have cleaner valves, cleaner intake manifold, cleaner intake pipe. But you're also going to be able to really, really use that, um, that octane level to the fullest. Because you're not introducing any foreign objects in there um, to degrade your octane. Okay. With the catch cans, you do need to usually empty them out every oil change. Um, so definitely keep on top of that. If your system is starting to show that you're catching more oil um, than usual, let's say, you know, instead of every 3,000 miles, now you're emptying out at every 500 miles, then you need to question the health of your engine as well. So it's a good way to see how your rings are doing. So if you're getting too much blow by, then you know that maybe your car was, you know, running too much boost and now it's, it's has damaged the wings a little bit, you know, so you can kind of gauge the health of your engine that way as well. On direction, direct injection engines, like I said before, it will actually help keep the valves cleaner. It doesn't mean your valves are going to stay 100% clean, but it will keep it cleaner than not having the catch cans. Um, if you do want another solution to clean your valves on top of the catch cans, Check out my water methanol video that I'll link up top and they'll show you how to keep your valves clean while having fun at the same time. All right, before I end the video, I do want to make sure to let you guys know when you install these catch cans, it is a great idea to actually install them at a lower point than the origin point of your PCV valve and your crankcase ventilation port. Um, that way you're actually having gravity do most of the work for you. So when the oil and the um, unburned gas comes out of the PCV valve, you want that to be able to freely travel down into your oil catch can, get caught, and you, the air is going to get sucked right back in with pressure. And it's because when the catch can is lo mounted lower than the PCV valve, the gravity will help keep all the gunk in the can and let the air flow right back up to where it needs to be. So that's one of the reasons why I say try to mount these catch cans lower than the origin point of the PCV valve and the crankcase ventilation port. All right, um, another thing that you can also look at are just regular catch cans versus baffle catch cans. Um, baffle system also puts another protection on top of you know how you mount them by keeping a baffle where it will actually keep all the gunk inside the can and let the fresh air go as well so take a look at that as well all right i hope this video helps you out on understanding how a catch can works and why you need them for your car we do have a lot of catch cans on our website so definitely check them out under the universal section if you want a car specific one we do that we do have one for the genesis coupe uh the 2.0 i know we have a lot of genesis coupe owners here watching so um, for the 2.0 owners, we do have one that goes right in front of the engine, um, easy access, and actually looks cool as well. So you can do that as well. I'll link those below. Um, again, like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.